can I spend the next 10 days in this airport without getting kicked out? I have no money with me and I need to find a t-shirt before they kick me out. I don't have a t-shirt. Ah, I literally got 30 rejections and nobody was giving me a share. I'm afraid they're about to kick me out soon. A lot of security is passing there. Is it a possibility that you can give me any t-shirt? Please. I don't think he's your size. Maybe it will do the job. So this guy is a bit small, but he will try to give me his t-shirt. Okay, let's do this. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it fits. Okay, it does the job for now. I'm not going to get kicked out. You are the best. You helped me. Thank you, guys. I need to keep a low profile so I don't get noticed. Have a great ride, everyone. I can't have a low profile. <laughs> With this hair and my character is difficult. Sir, how many days you live here? I don't live in Atlanta. Oh, you don't live in this airport? No, do you? I'm trying to. <laughs> it's hard taking a shower in the commode. Hopefully I will find a way to make a shower. While I was sitting here, found this. So someone left their smoothie here and some potatoes as well. <laughs> do you think this is disgusting? I think it is. If you think this is disgusting, I don't mind. <laughs> But it's really good if I get kicked out before the 10 days finish and to stay outside homeless as a punishment the rest of the days. As you can see, it became a night and in the night there is less people in the airport, which it will be harder for me. But I'm positive. I think we can do this. You are a pilot? You are the most beautiful pilot I ever saw in my life. Thank you. <laughs> Don't make fun of me in the comments, okay? Just have to find a place for me to sleep, but it's freezing there, of course. I need something to wear. Like, you want me to give you something or like... Yeah, do you have a hoodie or something? I can get you something. So we're going to see if he has something in his bag. 10 days in the airport. Yes. Should I give him like a hoodie? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Anything that you don't like, don't give me your favorite one. This is our college we go to. We gotta represent the college. Oh my god. <laughs> Perfect! Now I will be able to sleep with you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. I love people. People are amazing. Now I'm scouting a place to stay for the night. So I'm in the train going to the next terminal to find a place to sleep for the night. After spending a lot of time going around the airport, I think this is the best place. My blue hair doesn't help me. So I have this on all the time. Very careful because there is very little people and there is high chance that they will notice that I will be sleeping over tonight. So the security came, saw me in the eyes and left. There is probably 10 people sleeping in this area. I think now it's safe to sleep. Ladies and gentlemen, this is day two in the airport. Oh my god, I just woke up. Not the best sleep of my life, but we did it. So I'm leaving my spot. It's not good for me to stay in the same place for a lot of hours, so I'm leaving to a different section of the airport. Now I'm in A. Yesterday night I was at F, so today let's go to E. I kept seeking guidance from more experienced individuals. So because you seem that you have a lot of experience with airports, is there is any way that I can get free food in an airport? Not that I know of. Ah. Okay. Yes, I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> but thank you. I probably have snacks in here that I can give you. That would be much appreciated. <laughs> Wow, this is beautiful. Oh my god, thank you so much. Can I repay with one big hug? Thank you so much. Have an amazing day. Free food is the best. People are amazing. Where do you come from, boy? Um, I live here. Do you? Yes. Oh. In the airport, I mean. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody believes me. Everyone thinks I'm joking. Honestly guys, I consider this to be a vacation for me, relaxing. This airport videos, I did this another two times and it's my favorite video to make. Cheers to the flight attendant. God bless her. Oh my God. Mm. When you are hungry, everything tastes good. Mm. I need to find something comfortable for the night. So if I go outside of this exit, I lose the challenge. As you can see, the airport is becoming more empty and we have there our security. Today was amazing. <laughs> I'm enjoying this too much, guys. I'm supposed to suffer, <laughs> but uh, this is so fun for me, oh my God. While I was walking around, I stumbled upon a random bag filled with various items, including pillow and t-shirts. This is 
my pillow or put my legs inside here I'm a bit warmer okay now I'm ready for sleep I'm not complaining I'm very happy and grateful even if I'm a bit cold if I fail tomorrow then I have to spend only seven days homeless outside so hopefully I can stay for more days just woke up so much noise the airport is full now sir I just had the best sleep of my life <laughs> <laughs> Good. <laughs> I want to brush my teeth, but I don't have a toothbrush and a toothpaste. And I want to buy, and it's eight dollars. Goodbye. But I don't have eight dollars. Start asking. Huh? Yes, this is what I'm doing. <laughs> can you give me eight dollars? I don't have uh, cash. You can buy me a toothbrush. Okay. Thank you so much. Have a great day, sir. This might seem small to you guys, but it's a big thing for me. <laughs> Without water, for a lot of days, you know that you die. And airports have unlimited. How do you? Oh, yeah. Free water. So I just changed terminal. I have a whole day in front of us. Hello. Do you work here every day? No. One day out of the year. One day. And that's today. <laughs> <laughs> I'm bored. Do you have anything fun to do? Any recommendation? You can go over there and get you an hour massage and express spot. You can go get you a haircut and wash and color. What if you don't have any money? You might as well just go sit in one of them chairs and wait. <laughs> as you can see, the sun is going down. It's afternoon of day three. But I'm going to be a lot of days here. I need to exercise. So. One good thing about me is that I can exercise everywhere. Oh my god, and this is so useful. So I just woke up now. The airport is full again. I need to leave immediately this place because we don't want them to see me for too long. Now let's go find some of our friends in the airport. Hello sir, do you remember me? Yeah. Like I promised to you, I'm going to be your friend in the airport. <laughs> As you can see, I'm the only person that you've seen twice. Yes. <laughs> Never seen these folks again. Yes. <laughs> Hundreds of thousands actually. Every day. So now currently in the airport, you said there is probably one million people. Oh, that's about an average, yeah. Wow. Yeah, so it's what difficult it? for them to notice me. One million people is the population of the country I grew up. Trust me, these people could care less about you. <laughs> yes. Okay, so I will see you back on Friday. That's fine. It was a pleasure to meet you again, sir. Okay. So I'm changing terminal now for them to not notice me. Do you have any recommendations for me not to be bored? No, eat something. I don't have money. I just want a cup of ice. That's the only free thing in the airport. Really? Let's see if she's right. A cup with ice is free? Yeah. Can I have one? You are right, the cup with ice is free. Yeah, I told you. I'm watching the sunset, me and you. It's very romantic, I know. It's a mystery, guys. I'm a guy with blue hair. I have the same clothes every day. And I'm walking around this airport and nobody noticed me from the security. Nobody reported me. It's an absolute miracle. <laughs> I still have six days. So I started to get bored, guys. Ah. I just want to make the challenge a bit more spicy and difficult for me. So from now on, I will sleep here in the same spot until the rest of the challenge. And I think the security will probably notice me because if they see me every night here, they might say, oh, what are you doing here? So there is high chances, I think, that the security will come because this is the second time that I'm going to sleep in this spot. So while I was sleeping, an emergency has been reported in the building. This about the me guys, oh my gosh. There are security people working. Honestly, I don't know what to do now. Should I stay? Should I run to a different terminal? Do you know what happened there? No, they, they run tests on the alarms during every Tuesday. But every now and again, it'll go off. Okay, yeah, so, so it was a test. Yeah, it's nothing serious. Now I can go back to sleep. Day four, peace. Next scene, day five. So I just woke up, we didn't have any problem tonight. So we a train now going to a different terminal. It's so dirty, guys. It's incredible. Here is the shower. How much is the shower? $30. If I come here with $30, you will give me a shower? Yes. Cool. I'm going to collect some money then. I will be back. Some comments in my videos, guys. You are commenting social anxiety is scared of me. But yeah, I don't think it's a big deal to go and talk to a stranger. Hello, stranger. Hi. Can you give me $30? $30? Yes. 
50? 30. No. Why not? <laughs> I want 50. It's for a shower. It's a, for a good cause. I didn't shower for five days. Wow. And you smell? I can't. <laughs> <laughs> what about five dollars? Okay. Yes? Yes. Yes, okay. <laughs> You're going to give me five dollars? I don't have five dollars. I thought you were giving me five dollars. Oh, misunderstanding. Misunderstanding, I'm sorry. Okay, I forgive you. <laughs> me asking for money to definitely draw some awareness and people will probably kick me out. Any donations? For what? For a shower. Can you smell it, man? You can smell it. It's been five oh, days. I don't want to smell it. <laughs> Yay! Five dollars. Can you contribute for me to have a shower? Yes. Okay. Two dollars. That's good enough for me. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Money doesn't grow on trees. I was asking money for an hour and no one was willing to give me. But then this happened. I've been living in this airport for the last five days. I've seen your videos before. Oh, really? Yeah. Now I have a problem that I want to have a shower and I need another 18. He gave me 20 dollars so now I can go and shower. You smell like shit. So you need it. <laughs> And like I promised, I will be back. You can't imagine how excited I am. Oh my god. Oh my god. When you don't have nothing and you get something, this is what we call happiness. But this was the most refreshing thing ever. A lot of times with these videos, guys, one after the other, they are crazy. You think that it's crazy, but for me, because it's my life, I don't think it's crazy. I think this is normal, what I'm doing. It's funny how you think that is very extreme and I think that is normal. The bad thing is that I need to wear my dirty clothes again, but who cares? This was the best shower of my life. <laughs> Can I ask you a question? Are you going to finish this? No? Can I take it? <laughs> Thank you. Let's not put food to waste. Some salad. I have free music, free food. And a table and Wi-Fi to work. What else do you can ask from this life? Is this yours here? Then I will take it because I'm cold. We found a blanket! It's like God is taking care of me. Literally, I found this on the floor. Someone else's rubbish is someone's gold. Because I have a lot of time in this airport, guys, I read three books so far. Again, the same spot, day six. I started doubting if there is actually any security in this place. Today it looks like a cloudy day. This is the terminal that I'm staying from above. So I'm staying there in that couch there. I'm going to search in the dumpster to find food. Let's see what we have. Ugh, there is some stuff that are untouched. Bread, bread. Oh yeah. Yep. Thank you. All this stuff that are untouched. I know you guys are find this gross, but it's not actually. Only just one person touched it and threw it in the trash. Three people stabbed at the airport, including a police officer. Police drew their tasers and commanded Milton to put down the knife. As you saw in the video now, while I'm here, one policeman got stabbed. So I think it's outside the airport though. Did you hear it was a policeman? Getting stopped in this airport? Yeah, I heard it on the domestic side before you get into TSA. Mm -hmm. Is he okay? Yeah, no. I think so. I don't, I don't think oh, that hurt. No, I don't As I understood, the policeman is good now, which is great news. But this will probably be a lot more suspicious of any activity. So this is day six in the night. So low key guys, I'm enjoying this. I found my routine in the airport. I know the spots now. And it's like home. <laughs> and now back to my bed. This is the most interesting thing that happened so far in the airport. They are changing the posture with a different one. This is what you can spot when you live 10 days in an airport. <laughs> this is the coolest thing ever. They are not allowed to drive it in the airport, so they are pushing it out. I hate cars, but this was the peak of my airport experience. And you can understand that I'm not lying when I say I'm staying for 10 days because it was going to be impossible to catch this moment if I was not actually living here for 7 days so far. This is the new Porsche. Do you like this or the previous more? Comment below which one you think is better, the yellow or the blue. So I keep sleeping on that corner and there is no chance the employees don't recognize me. It's the morning of day eight and I will contact a social experiment. I'm going to leave my stuff here. I will go around in the airport to explore for eight hours and I will come back to see if they are still there. I left my bag in the other side of the airport. Do you think it will be stolen? No. Trust people. I'm curious to see when I go back. 
back. Hello, friend. What are you doing today? I told him if he finds good leftovers to give it to me instead of throwing them away. I, I will take it. <laughs> Thank you. I see you tomorrow. Okay. Uh, it's hot. How many times I would say heaven is a place on earth? I was walking around and exploring the airport for hours. I cannot really enjoy my walk in the airport because I think about my bag, if it's going to be there or not. Let's see if my friend is here. Hello! You didn't say to anybody what I'm doing that I live here for eight days, right? I didn't tell anybody what you were doing. I left my bag in the other side of the airport. Do you think when I go there I will find it? Security will get it because somebody will report it. Nobody's going to Go over there and take it. But I'm staying for eight days in this airport, so if they report it, uh, maybe they will notice what I'm doing. No, they don't care. No, they don't yeah, care. <laughs> okay, so you think I should go and get my bag? I think you better. Eight hours of walking around the airport done. Now it's time to go and see the damage. <laughs> I'm worried because I don't want to have anything to do with security. Let's go, let's go. And this is the moment of truth. <laughs> so everything is here. Yes. Mwah. I love you people of the world. You've been seeing me here for the last couple of days or no? Yeah. This is the end of day eight that I live in this exact spot. Did you ever see a person living that long in this airport? Yeah. Really? They're usually on the other side. What do you mean the other side? On the, the north side. Why they choose to go there? That's where they stay sometimes. <laughs> in what terminal? Yeah, this is approaching day night in a couple of hours, 3 a.m. And I didn't know that. So I stayed in the more difficult side, guys. And now cut to day nine. It's day nine now. I've been living in this spot for the last five nights. And now I'm going to check out Terminal T that he told me there is a better place. I came to T gates. I would feel so bad if there is actually an area that you can sleep. I found the area that he told me. It actually is a bit better. So this is the area. Better seats like to work with your laptop. And also this huge couch to sleep. So tonight I will sleep here in this area. Honestly guys, as much as I'm enjoying this video, I miss the real world. World. If I wall outside, I would end the challenge. Let's go and report what we are doing to the police. How many days can someone live in the airport? Why you want to live over here, dear? I've been staying here for the last nine days. You're staying at, the, at this airport for the last nine days? Yes. And now you are concerned that how many more days you can stay? Yes. Why you have been over here for nine days? What's going on? Why not? It's a good airport. I think I'm going to leave. I got bored. You have been staying over here for the last nine days? Yes. And now you're getting bored? <laughs> I couldn't believe this, guys. It was absolutely shocked. In three hours, I need to wake up and finally catch my flight to go home. This is day 10, and this is my flight to Los Angeles. I missed the real world. <laughs> I missed my place. And now it's time for the quote. Without the element of fun, it's not worth pursuing, excelling at something.